Hello everyone, welcome back to Mindful Eats. For those who are new, I'm Shubhangi, I'm a nutritionist. And today, as I have mentioned in the last video, I shall be sharing some meal prep ideas which are super simple, super easy to prepare and can be done over the weekend and you are sorted to eat healthy for the entire week. When it comes to eating healthy, nothing works other than pre-planning things way ahead. And that's what I'm going to teach you in this particular video. I do not prep meals as whole. I prep each individual ingredient separately simply because I like variety and I like to throw in all the ingredients in the right proportions or portions uh, into my meals and prepare something that is new instead of preparing something completely and then storing it. This is just my preference. You can go with whatever you like. And when we have these ingredients ready in our fridge, trust me, the option of ordering from outside or eating unhealthy drastically reduces. So after this meal prep, I shall also be sharing three recipes which are super easy, super simple and can be done under five minutes. So moving on, we shall be prepping the cereals first. Here I have taken red rice. You can use um, brown rice or quinoa instead. I have added two cups of water. Now I am using a pressure cooker for this because that's easily available in our place. But you can normally cook it as well. Just add double the quantity of water and mix it well. And for a pressure cooker, it roughly takes around three to five whistles. And for normal cooking, roughly around 45 minutes. Uh, for normal cooking, the water content will be more. For pressure cooker, we need less water. Now I'm just gonna cook this. Moving on to proteins, here I have taken one cup of red lentils whole and kidney beans around one cup and I'm gonna soak them overnight. Now to cook these lentils, um, once they have been soaked overnight, I'm just gonna transfer them into a normal vessel. The kidney beans I'm gonna be cooking through the pressure cooker. In this I'm gonna add double the amount of water, so roughly one and a half to two cups. To this I'm gonna add one teaspoon of salt and one teaspoon of chili powder. Just mix it well and I'm gonna put this for cooking for roughly around 20 minutes or until the lentils are soft. Now let's store them in glass or um, steel vessels. It's just that they remain much more fresh in these vessels. I'm just gonna store these lentils that I've cooked and the kidney beans that I've cooked and they stay in the fridge for roughly around four to five days. You can cook any lentils of your choice. Moving on, let's prep some veggies. So here I'm taking capsicum, green, yellow and red. Uh, your choice whichever you want to wish to take and cut it the way you want I particularly like them sliced and hence I'm slicing them I'm just gonna keep these aside moving on to our next vegetable I like green beans and hence I'm using these I'm gonna cut them into three inch um, length but you can cut it the way you want and uh, Later on, I'm moving on to carrots. Now, these vegetables are easily available wherever I stay. You can choose from the veggies that you like. I'm just going to cut these carrots into strips. I am using these veggies, but feel free to experiment with all the veggies that you like. Further ahead, going with prepping them, I like to saute my veggies slightly and then store it. So here I'm going to add a capsicum in one pan and the green beans and the carrots in one pan because carrot and beans take longer to cook than capsicum and I don't want my capsicum to be soggy. I like the crunch that they carry. So now I'm just going to transfer it to a big container. Just make sure that you have 
enough now i have used the amount that is enough for one person if you are three four of you are just double the amount and accordingly variate now i had kept the rice for cooling and once it cooled down i'm just tra going to transfer this in a container so here our cereal our proteins and our veggies are prepped for the week moving on to the dressing i am making a yogurt dressing so you are using roughly around 2 to 3 tablespoons of yogurt and this is cow's milk yogurt to this i'm going to add cumin and coriander seed powder chili powder and some coriander now i've not added salt uh, because the yogurt itself has some but you can feel free to add lemon juice or salt to it now this can be used as a salad dressing or a dip with veggies or crackers it just tastes yum i am just going to transfer it into a bowl or you can keep it in a container and can be easily used up to 3 days So yesterday I pre-planned all the ingredients and now I'm going to show you the three recipes that I have mentioned before. So the first recipe is simple nourish bowl. Here I'm going to add roughly 4 tablespoons of red rice that we prepared in a bowl. To this I'm going to add the veggies that we had prepared as well. Now again you can use any veggies of your choice you can throw in some onions tomatoes cucumber to it Now I'm going to add the red lentils that we cooked roughly around 1 cup of it and I'm going to finally add the dressing that we prepared the yogurt one and garnish it with some coriander again you can variate it keeping in mind the same basic rule the way you want moving on to our next dish kidney bean salad for this in a bowl now this is a low carb dish so we are not going to add any carbs like cereals to it we're going to add create a base of the veggies that we had meal prepped and you can add in some broccoli baby corn it just tastes yum to this i'm going to add the kidney beans now you can use cottage cheese that is paneer you just stir fry it a little bit with some herbs and it also tastes yum i'm going to use the yogurt dressing again for this but you can use just simple vinaigrette dressing in this as well and finally i'm going to garnish it with some coriander moving on to our last dish wedge open toast sandwich for this i'm using a toasted whole wheat bread you can even use a normal bread whichever you like or a sweet potato toast over here i'm using a chickpea spread it's like a hummus a very basic one with some garlic and uh, coriander i've just spread it over on both the toast to this i'm just going to layer some to fresh tomatoes followed by the veggies that we had prepped earlier if you have avocado where available where you stay you can use that as well over here in mumbai avocado is not very easily available hence we have to go with whatever veggies we have i'm just going to garnish it with some coriander leaves you can garnish it with salt pepper as well simple quick and easy isn't it so i hope this was insightful uh, now remember that the first two weeks are going to be difficult but in the third week you're going to crush it like a pro so don't worry about it just start even if it's small amount and small efforts do count on the longer run and once it's a habit then you're just going to be super fast in it 
Now do try some healthier recipes keeping in mind the plate method. Now the plate method is something that I discussed in my previous video. I'll link it in the description box. Do check it out because it is going to be extremely helpful in planning your meals for the week. Do subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell because the next video is going to be about healthy quick and easy snacks. Till then, bye, stay healthy, stay safe.